Let's go over the trades. First trading day of June. We see the market making a gap up. This is the 24-hour session. See that move higher after hours ES. And yesterday's results are going to end up on today's uh, June 1st statement. Your brokerage statement will be the same way. Any trades you took yesterday should be on today's June 1st statement um, because the stock market was uh, it was closed yesterday. There was a holiday yesterday. So today, yesterday was Tuesday's session, and the indicator also works that same way too. So you see the trade on Monday session carries over into Tuesday, and that's the way it is with all these strategies. Minus 25 on the day for after hours ES2 from yesterday's trade. Tick pulse ES minus 525, or tick pullback, I'm sorry. And you see that big gap up. We talked about how we anticipated a move higher, and it did. Big strong move overnight, but just pulled back during the day. So kind of a weak rejection of those higher prices. Lost on Cobra 3 ES minus 300 on the profit target and non-profit target version. Adapt moving average minus 1,000. Night Trader did well, plus 1162.50. It was in since last week. Same thing with Asia 4 ES long plus 1,075 up on the session, um, holding this since last week, early last week. And then ES2 workspace tick fader plus 375 ESD ES minus 525. And then fix OC um, plus 975. Nice gain there, holding that trade from Monday's open got in on Monday's open C plus 975 and you see how the indicator carries it over to today's trade Because it, it typically resets if that time is 1600 but that time, uh, you know closed early. So it's one of those weird days um, Where the market stock market was closed features closed at noon. So in Q um, And it happened to be on the last day of the month. So it makes it more confusing uh, in Q tick pullback minus 725 uh, tick count trend in Q plus 1150. Uh, tick pulse V12 minus 1250. In the stock index swing, we had minus 1025. Cobra 3 in Q plus 70. Cobra 3 in Q non profit target version uh, plus 70. And then in Q2, the aggressive, this is known as our aggressive workspace, active in Q strategies. 60 minute breakout B. Uh, minus or plus 145 on the day hit that profit target lost and then got back in open position VSD uh, carrying the the open carrying the trades through this doesn't use the don't trade on holiday function so it, it's aggressive it carries the trade from yesterday as well plus or minus 25 45 and then minus 27 30 on long short VSD and then Cobra 3 uh, big stop loss plus 70 uh, Viper 2008 plus 150 exhaust and reverse minus 71250 and we have silver uh, plus 800 crude oil we talked about how we had a big move at the opening crude oil it's still up here at plus 2.44 percent on the day but off its highs of higher prices it seems seems to be that um, the market is addicted to um, for you know, since 2009, this this Federal Reserve market where they push asset prices higher and keep commodities down here, and that's not the normal cycle. The normal cycle um, do, does show that equities um, have pull have pullbacks, um, and commodities actually have bull markets too. But this Fed cycle has skewed that. And I want to—it's it's curious to see how long they're going to continue to skew, skew these markets or get away with it. The we see inflation start to happen, and um, you know it, it's a choppy move higher because there is some resistance to uh, higher prices in commodities and lower prices in stocks. So it'll be interesting to see how the rest of the year plays out. Um, I think that normal cycles will eventually win out over intervention. Um, Arbob, no trades. Natural gas, no trades. Euro, minus 93.75. Gold, we had one trade on the day. Cobra Gold, plus 575. Not a very active day. Not a lot of trades. Silver, no trades on the day. Copper, no trades. And we had soybeans, big, big move higher. Still ended up on the day about 1%, but well off its highs. Just a V-top reversal in soybeans. And um, so, interesting price action. Lost on soybean swing, minus 425. We said earlier that um, you know we're not we're not part of the to the moon crowd, 
and you know even if we anticipate higher markets we anticipate two-sided markets and we trade two-sided markets so we anticipate taking long and short trades even in an up even if this market goes higher by the end of the year since we are short-term traders so old and optional workspaces here and you can see those trades as well we track 118 strategies every single day and this is our all strategy access set of strategies in trade station and um, when you when you subscribe to one of the portfolios you get a combination of these of these strategies or you can customize you could trade them all if you're well capitalized